Okay. So before us, we have a classic problem. This uh, problem has been uh, asked in a number of exams a number of times with uh, different values out there, but essentially uh, being the same problem. So what we have uh, before us is a, a, a version of a, a version of this classic problem that appeared in the cat, right? In cat 2019, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, everyone who has offered a solution to this uh, problem uh, has uh, uh, given a given the same lengthy solution based on a formulaic approach that uh, the long formula for three sets that we have, which is essentially what they have done is they have started their solution by finding this particular area, this uh, brown area that you can see. So they have all started their solutions by finding this particular area. So once they have done that, uh, now uh, 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 so, if you know, finding this particular region, this particular area that we have here, this this thing, just this uh, tiny triangle, circular triangular thing, curvy triangle that we have here, uh, this this is very tedious, very tiresome to find. You know uh, how many steps are required to find this? You have to add, first you have to take this number on the LHS, this number, this number equals this number plus this number plus this number minus this number minus this number again minus this number and finally plus this mystery number this question mark number that we have here right so uh, how many terms are there one two three four five six seven eight total of eight terms and how many operations you have to perform you have to perform seven operations of addition and subtraction just to find this not even your answer you have to find a part of your answer by performing seven operations and what do you get after seven operations then you have to take the uh, the entire uh, yellow circle that represents tennis uh, so my choice of color was based on uh, roughly on the tennis ball anyways so this 123 you have to take this then uh, what you have to do is from this whole circle, you have to subtract this region, green region. You have to subtract this orange uh, region. And then because you have done double subtraction to compensate for that, you have to add this mystery region that you found after so much toil. So all that toil was just to, uh, uh, for this mystery region was just to compensate this double subtraction that we have done from this. And then finally you can have the answer. So how many steps? Uh, seven steps to find this mystery region and two subtractions here and one addition here. So around 10 steps, 10 steps just to find the answer. So let us see if we can solve it in a much uh, shorter manner. So I'll be I'll do, be doing essentially the same thing in terms of, uh, you know, identification. I'll also use a Venn diagram, but I'll do it in much uh, lesser steps. Let's see. So I have, a, I have to find this same region as well, but I'll try not to use this brown region without finding, ascertaining this brown region. Can I just find this region? So yes, I can find this region. I'll tell you why. So this region is nothing but the total area of the circle, right? The total area of the circle, this entire thing. Remember, the total area of the circle is not the sum of the three circles because they're overlapping. It is not the sum of three circles. This total area is not this area plus this area plus this area, right? The total area is a, uh, uh, the total area is actually the area of something that whose outline looks somewhat like this, right? This is the outline, like a flower, three petal flower. So I'm not uh, finding this. So never make this conceptual confusion. So uh, what I'll do very quickly, just to find this area, I take this 256 and I subtract this blue, blue circle and this red circle. All right. I just uh, take this 256, I subtract this blue circle and this red circle. So what happens is uh, uh, I take uh, 256 first and uh, then I uh, uh, mm, subtract 132 and 144. All right. And once I'm uh, done with that, you would have seen that I have uh, double subtracted. I have actually double subtracted uh, this region. Now this region doesn't need to be found. It is known. What is it? It is the intersection of football and cricket, right? The intersection of football and cricket is given here. Uh, it's given uh, football and cricket, right? So it's given here. 63 can play football and cricket. All right. So my answer will essentially be nothing but uh, 256 minus 144 minus 132 plus 63. Isn't it? So look how many steps did I do? Just three steps. 
टू फिफ्टी सिक्स दिस एंटायर फ्लावर थिंग टू फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस वन फोर्टी फोर द ब्लू सर्कल वन स्टेप माइनस वन थर्टी टू दिस रेड रेड स्टेप रेड सर्कल सेकेंड स्टेप एंड दिस इंटरसेक्शन दिस पर्पल इंटरसेक्शन और वॉयलेट इंटरसेक्शन द थर्ड स्टेप आई एडेड दिस सो टू फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस वन फोर्टी फोर माइनस वन थर्टी टू प्लस सिक्सटी थ्री so that's my answer so you see i reduce something from 10 steps to 3 steps right that's how we do it so all geometry and visualize it's not even geometry it's just visualization so as long as you can visualize something you can map it so that makes math a lot easier in a lot of situations so hope you liked it All three parts. Kid is sixty-three. Minus x and plus x. See how much will the tennis part will end up with forty plus x. Let me try one more time. For all of this combined, the net total does this add up to? Let me use x here. So my equation from there. So your goal is forty-three. Straightforward question. A little. Hi guys, welcome back to B. Now let's see. Uh, so three, two, five, nine, both. You can check the question we are getting. And so number of total tennis players is one twenty three. So those who can. A club has 256 members, of whom 144 can play football, 123 can play tennis, and all intersection B minus B intersection C minus six of these and this I will find one. Seven plus two nine, nine plus five, fourteen plus one thirty. Football here. Cricket and tennis is remaining forty three play tennis only. One thirty minus one thirty two minus two is one thirty. So we're going to have. 